I always order the same thing at Bentley's because I don't know anything else. I don't know how to swim or use chopsticks. I stick to what I know. I dropped out of high school on April 14, 2014 and no, that doesn't make me any less. I was stuck in certain situations and I'm doing all I can for my education. I love poetry, but I've never been one to use big words. I've learned to live for the simple things like heartbreak, or late night conversations and I'm not really sure I know the difference. I wanted to be called Josie Thunderboom but they say I spit fire. <laughs> My name is Jose Manuel Martinez. Don't forget the accent on the E. Me gusta hablar español de vez en cuando. Soy mexicano por sangre and American by location. I live in South Tucson and I know where to get the best hot dogs. <laughs> I've been arrested before, in and out of counseling offices, 24 hours of suicidal rehabilitation. I don't celebrate my birthday, and don't ask why. I've never been one for big words. School was never my best subject. When I was in fourth grade, pizza was my best friend. So I wore a sweater every day of school year because words do hurt, and kids are fucking evil. I've grown out of some of insecurities, but the scars are still there. I talk a lot of shit and pretend I know everything. I'm the definition of, he's a cool guy once you get to know him. <laughs> I have tattoos on my skin, and yes, they all mean something to me. Like, the time I found out how powerful my words are, or how strong sleep medication can be, I hold on to things that break too easily, like pencils or hope. I've never been one for big words. I'm simple. You don't need a dictionary to know what I'm saying. I was told whatever I put on this paper is poetry, so I don't use a thesaurus. I write a lot of poems about the same girl, and I really don't care what anyone thinks. Woo! It's not my fault I fell in love with someone so inspiring. Don't try to edit my words. I will never, don't try to edit me into words I will never be. I've, been, I've never been one for big words, because I don't write to be questioned. I write to be understood. Woo!